This is the Army Today from Soldiers Radio and Television. Private Danielle Sumner introduces us to one unit that's using science to help stay fit. Soldiers in Kuwait are getting a lesson on diet and exercise. The Center for Health Promotion and Preventative Medicine paid a visit from Heidelberg, Germany to give soldiers personalized health assessments. So the goal is to let people know what their resting metabolic rate is, which means how many calories your body needs just to live, survive, basically. And then in that theory, um, we tell you how many you need to survive. And if you're trying to lose weight, we can also give you the parameters of how many calories you can intake to lose the weight as well. At the beginning of the process, the person gets weighed, the first step in determining their metabolic rate and body fat count to get their individualized meal plan. And then you sit down in a chair and you breathe into a tube for about 10 minutes and there could be a little drool, but we give you some tissues to help you with that. And uh, basically the whole objective is, is to measure exactly how many calories you consume uh, in a 24-hour period and we can measure that in 10 minutes. After their metabolic rate is established, the soldier undergoes additional testing to determine their body fat count and even if the soldier is hydrated or not. One soldier hopes this will help her achieve some of her own personal goals. Lose weight, lose water weight, um, do whatever I need to do to stay healthy. And it's a good way. They tell you, they give you a diet plan and um, tell you what you need to survive as far as calories. After all the testing is complete, the soldier gets an individualized meal plan to help them lose weight and excess body fat. Hey, we can make you better. We can make you fit. We can give you all the tools that you need to be successful. It's just one more way the Army is helping its soldiers be fit to fight. I'm Army Private Danielle Sumner, Camp Eric John, Kuwait. That's the Army Today from Washington.